What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're jumping into the world of projectors, but not just any projector. This is a very tiny projector. This here is the Ori Mag P6 Aluminum. As you can tell by the box, this thing is super small. Now, from what I've seen, this little sucker packs a punch. I'm pretty sure this isn't the pink one. I think it does come in pink, but I believe I got the black one. Uh, I hope. I don't really want the pink one. It doesn't look as cool. Anyway, so it does support 1080p, but it has a native resolution of 640 by 480. It's compatible with iOS. I don't know if it's compatible with anything else. I'm not 100%. We'll find out. It has 80 lumens, which isn't really bright, so I'm curious, but from what I've seen, it's way more impressive than you think. It's actually an LED lamp, which obviously you're not going to be able to get a regular lamp into something so small, but because it's LED, this thing has a lifespan of like 20,000 hours. If you use this for like eight hours a day for like eight years, it'll finally go out on you. That's how long this thing can last. The image size itself can go from 50 inches all the way to 120 inches. It does have built-in Wi-Fi. It does have a built-in lithium-ion battery, but so only lasts about an hour and a half. I really hope that you can actually use it while it's plugged in. It does support up to a 32 gig SD card, and it has a 3.5 millimeter jack. Without further ado, let's open this thing up. I'm too excited for this. Oh my god, look how tiny that is. It's super tiny. Oh my god, and it feels elegant. Holy cow. Oh, oh, that's right. I totally forgot this comes with a stand. Duh. Okay, cool. So this is a nice little stand for it. So you can put it in there. And then I believe this is the tripod. Oh, you got a little uh, micro USB to USB female adapter. And then of course you've got a four foot long USB to micro USB cable. You got your power brick. It's a five volt, um, so it's a little power brick. Okay, so you got a micro USB to female USB to USB. You got a cool little bag to carry it around in. Not nothing too fancy, but it's nice and nice and thick and heavy. And then you got your cool little tripod. It's got these little rubber feet. It's made out of like a cheap aluminum. Let's see, loosen that up. There we go. And then you can move it around so that way you can angle it how you want to use it. So in this case, you would just throw this on here. There you go, that's the whole tripod. Now, the actual unit itself. Look at how tiny this thing is. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at this, it's so small. This is a full-blown projector. I don't know if this is like a display or something. That's a button, so I believe that's gonna be the power button. Okay, so on the front, you've got your lens. And over on the side, looks like that's where the speaker's gonna be. You got your SD card slot, and then you have a focus knob here. I believe this is just air vents. It goes all the way around. On the back, you've got your 3.5 millimeter port with your micro USB port, and I believe that is an uh, that is an LED indicator. Over here, you have your reset button, and I believe that is another speaker port. There you go. It goes. It fits on there just like that. Real, real basic. Just sets right on there, and now you're good to go. Let's see if it has any power. Let's take it off of there first. It sounds like a hello. It oh, that's bright. It sounds like a miniature. Oh, it has an operating system. What the? How do you? How do you control this thing? Oh, the top! There you go. It's all touch. I'm gonna set it up right here so you guys can really see what's going on, and that way, uh, yeah, let's let's do that. Wow, look at that thing! Isn't that ins that is crazy? I hope this is clear for you guys because it is super clear for me. So as you can see, it does say Android, Windows, Apple. I'm not sure what OTG is. DLNA. I'm not sure what that is either. And then you have the built-in media player. So if you have your SD card, you can plug that in, and then you're good to go. Let's check out the settings real quick. Uh, okay, so you got Wi-Fi settings, brightness settings, language, and online update. All right, so I'm going to connect it using AirPlay. Okay, so it found it, the P6, so let's connect, see what happens. Loading. Whoa, look at that. That was just that easy. Holy cow, that is so cool. Oh my goodness. Let's do... Wow. Let's see how big I can get it. That's crazy. And look how bright it is. I gotta say, I mean, that's pretty bright. Hold on. I wanna see how big I can get this. Hold on. I can't believe how big this is getting. 
This is as far as I can go back from where I'm at. I'm, I'm running into stuff. All right. <sighs> okay. Hey, whoa. That's crazy. Okay, so it, it got this big, and it could probably get even bigger, but the quality uh, was really good. It was actually really good. Now, it was super, super simple to do the AirPlay with my iPhone. Now, as you can see here on the instructions, there are actually a a multitude of ways of connecting. You can use Miracast, you can hardwire it to the phone, you can actually connect hardwire to uh, to a laptop or to a desktop. Wow, I gotta say, I mean, and it gets a little warm, but it, I mean, when you turn this thing on, it feels like a full-blown projector. That is crazy, What what just went off? And why is it going off now? This little sucker is a little expensive. It's kind of pricey. So you got to ask yourself, is ultra portability worth it for you? I would say if you are somebody who does uh, presentations and you travel quite often, this might be something that you'd want to check out because this really is the smallest projector I have ever seen ever. The speakers, not so bueno. It wasn't so great. I would definitely suggest connecting, uh, maybe get a portable little speaker and just connect it through the 3.5 millimeter jack, then that would be perfect. Considering this only has 80 lumens, I'm really, really surprised at how good a quality this little thing is. Considering you can connect it to an iPhone, uh, a Mac, a uh, Windows-based PC or, or laptop, an Android phone, I mean, you're gonna be able to just connect pretty much anything. Not bad, not bad at all. Just imagine you go into a meeting and you pull that thing out. People are gonna be like, what is that? <laughs> That is cool. That is so cool. All right, guys, well, that's it. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below. You guys know what to do. Go check it out for yourself. But as for now, get out of here.